Hi, my name is Josie and today I will be presenting my third assessment task, the super graphics for social change. For the first stage of the design process, the research stage, I had to choose a social issue. The social issue I chose was domestic violence as it is an issue that is close with me. I created a mind map that represented social violence. I looked into the location, the genders, the age, the materials I would need to create this product, the emotions, the colour and the types of domestic violence. Some of the materials I looked at were money, makeup, bandages, ice packs, drugs and medication and that sort of stuff. Some of the locations I looked at were public and household locations, such as a living room or a bedroom, and shopping centres or social gatherings. I then created my Pinterest boards. I looked into things like typography, artistic styles, and super graphics themselves. My first Pinterest board, as shown, is my super graphics Pinterest board. I had about 30 pins on this board. The second Pinterest board I created was my typography Pinterest board. I had about 40 on this one as well. My third Pinterest board was the artistic styles. These included mixed media and Photoshop, as well as spray paint. Then I moved forward to my stylescapes. The first stylescape I looked at was a graffiti or street style inspired stylescape. I looked into colours such as dark colours, like pink, dark blue, black and teal. And I also looked into large font and more exaggerated style. My second stylescape was typography inspired. I looked into, again, large font with a variety of bright colours so that it would stand out wherever I would put it. Some of the colours I used were purples because they are representative of domestic violence, some pinks, blue and coral as well as yellow type colours. My third stylescape was a mixed media or Photoshop type stylescape. I used big bold font and mixed media such as um, Photoshop along with graffiti styles and topography all combined together. Some of the colours I used included greys, black and pinks as well as purple as it is representative of domestic violence. I then moved forward to, to location scouting. The first location I looked at was seen on the train and it was located just near Hawksburn Station as can be shown here. I really, really liked this one, but it wasn't right for me. The second place that I looked at was on the campus of Swinburne University it was the EN building where they had just started a mural painting and the place was blank. So I took a photo there as well to possibly use that. I really liked this one and I believe I would have done this one if I had not chosen one later. The third place that I looked at was also seen on the train. It was just after Hawksburn Station. It was a blank wall, but had a few windows, which made it a bit difficult for me to choose this location. This led me to stage two, the concept design. I first began with some basic sketches. 
I used the words love should not hurt in a typo typographic manner for my first one. I used inspiration from my super graphics Pinterest board for my second one and used anime eyes. The third one that I did was a mixed media f typography and Photoshop one that gives statistics of one in six women experiencing domestic violence with one woman a week dying and a phone. The fourth one that I used was a shadow of a man holding his hand over a woman's mouth with the words speak out. My fourth one was to include men and women as women are not the only sufferers of domestic violence and it needs to be more awareness based on this matter. My sixth one was to do with violence against children. For the rest of mine, I used things like mixed media it's for the, my first one, a Photoshop and graffiti or violent font typography along with a broken teddy bear to represent physical violence. I did another one that says find help with broken hearts spray painted all over it and a silhouette of violence. I really, really did like this one, but I didn't think it was right for me. Another one that I did was um, alcohol inspired abuse, which was one of the abuse methods that I found during my research. The next one was Photoshop or a graffiti style of some injuries never heal with a hurt part of the brain. Next I did the October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month inspired. For my refined sketches I did the some injuries never heal inspired um, basic drawing and I colored that in and did some outlining to make it look better to see if I would choose that one. And I also did the statistics inspired one with the phone. I didn't have time to color this in, however. Then I looked at tools or materials I could need for creating this product if I were to create it on a piece of poster board or in real life. Some of the materials and tools that I found included spray paint in the colours pink, black, white, red and the domestic violence representative colour of purple. Then I looked at poster paper or cardboard to create this. Some paint brushes, some newspaper, masking tape, images, stickers, glue and a sealant or a glaze of some type such as Mod Podge. Some of the safety or personal tools I would use to create this in real life would be a ventilated area due to the spray paint, gloves, and a mask just so that I'm not breathing in any of the spray paint fumes or any of the paint fumes. This is what led me to stage three, the design development stage. This stage for me was all about creating what I wanted to create. So this is a showcase of my design development. I didn't actually have the time to create this in a way that would be made like professionally or on a billboard. I had to go online to do this as I didn't have time. First thing I did was create a silhouette of a person's face along with a silhouette of a brain. I used, I traced images for this and I made them both different shades of purple as this is representative of domestic violence. I used a black outline on these to make it seem more graffiti-like and then increased the point size to about five to make it thicker. The next thing I did was create a silhouette of a domestic violence relationship of a man slapping a woman. 
This was also created in a dark paper with a black outline to follow the idea of um, a graffiti style. I put it together with the brain located obviously inside the head and the domestic violence situation located inside the brain as that would be representative of the mental trauma that is associated with domestic violence. I then used the words, some wounds never heal, after getting feedback from some of my classmates. I used a graffiti style font and in large text to fill the negative space that was there. I used the words, I put the words never in a dark purple with a black outline and a paint stroke line underneath to make it seem more artistic. This was then leading me to stage four, of course, the final designs part of it. This was my final design put onto my chosen area. I put it onto a different area located at Swinburne. However, I had trouble with the selecting and masking part and was unable to make it look as realistic as it possibly could. If I had more time on this project, I believe I would have been able to make it look more realistic than it does at the moment and I would have been able to make it to a higher standard than I have. However, I am impressed with how far I was able to get despite the challenges that were associated with it, such as making this and actually using Photoshop as I'm not very good at it. But I did push my own limits when I did make this. Overall, I really would like to redo the super graphics for social change, but it is finished, so I can't. Anyway, thank you for listening.